All right, I'm Trey German, and we're here at the Texas Instruments booth here at Maker Faire. Um, you may remember me from the Bay Area Maker Faire, and um, I've got some updates to some of the projects I've been working on to show you, as well as some cool new launch pad boards from Texas Instruments. So we'll get started with my um, quadcopter booster pack. Um, you probably saw this uh, on Hackaday uh, on their, their coverage of the Bay Area Maker Faire and it looks a little more complete now. So uh, I got the frame back for manufacturing and it, it's come together and it's really starting to look like a quadcopter. So we've got our four brushless DC motors here, our um, launch pad here in the middle, and then on the back side you can kind of see uh, all the motor control circuitry. So we've got our, our uh, electronic speed controllers using our InstaSpin field oriented control technology as well as our IMU um, kind of plugged in here on top. So we've got a three axis accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer, we've got a barometer and a, a GPS module on here. So I'm really excited with this project. Um, it's still got a few problems. Um, some of the dimensions on the frame are a little bit off. Um, this material is actually typically used for signage applications. So things like stop signs and things like that. So my manufacturer is really used to cutting like things like rectangles and octagons, not anything this complex. So we're pushing them to their limits here and I'm having to work with them and kind of go back and forth to get all the dimensions correct. So we'll get all that ironed out and we'll have this thing flying soon enough. What's that? The weight. The weight of the, the board right now is right about uh, 200 grams with everything on it. Um, of course, this doesn't have the battery on it. The battery will add about another 100 grams, but that's well within the range of where this thing will fly. Um, so we think we'll be able to carry a small camera, probably not a GoPro, but something um, smaller and more specialized for quadcopters like this. So the other thing we really wanted to, to show you here at Maker Faire is our new CC3200 uh, Wi-Fi launch pad. So this is a, uh, a microcontroller development board. Um, it's got an ARM uh, Cortex-M microcontroller. And the really special thing about this that makes it different is it's got built-in Wi-Fi. So for 30 bucks, you can get started developing an Internet of Things application. And you know, a lot of people are kind of intimidated by, by this Internet of Things and you know, how do I write software for this? Well, we've tried to make it really, really easy to do that. So not only is this board supported in Energia, which is our open source uh, wiring based IDE, um, we've also got some partners like Timbu that make it very, very easy to get started um, with all kinds of different um, cloud services. So um, this is, this is a, an API aggregation kind of company. So it makes it really easy to connect to things like Twitter and Facebook. You can go to their website, click on um, one of these, uh, these uh, services, enter the information. So let's say, for instance, you wanted to, to send a tweet when the temperature sensor on, on your launch pad got above a certain threshold. You set that up in Timbu, and it spits out code that you can copy and paste into Energia into Energia, which makes it really, really easy to, to write Internet of Things applications. So um, in summary, right, you can get a launch pad with Wi-Fi for 30 bucks that's super duper easy to program and gets you cloud connectivity.